Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing great. Today, we're going to be looking at how to cure a sick angelfish. Well, really how to cure any fish, well angelfish in specific since no day is the fish I cured. So this fish uh, you're seeing right now, Oscar, my koi angelfish. This is the same fish that is in the rest of the video. This is just recorded uh, 5th of February 2018. And I will be showing you the whole process of how I cured him, what medicine I used, and just basically how his condition improved after taking the necessary steps to ensure his survival. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to time travel a bit back to, God, I don't know, a few months ago. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. So yeah, I will see you guys at the end of the video where I'll just uh, quickly go over, go and yeah, quickly do an overview of everything that's happened. So yeah, let's get on with it. So, this is the first uh, day I decided to start uh, documenting this. This wasn't actually the first time I noticed that the fish was sick, but it was the first time I started recording. So as you can see, on the lower lip of the angelfish, there's kind of a white fungusy thing. That's uh, what we call mouth rot, or it has another name which I can't remember off the top of my head, but well, I'll put it on screen now. And this is basically what we're going to be curing. So, it was originally caused by the two angelfish, the koi and marble, fighting a lot. And because the marble was the dominant one, the more powerful one, it basically, it basically continuously injured the koi angelfish to a point where it developed an open sore which then got infected. So... First off, what we're going to do is we're going to treat it in the main aquarium because I didn't, at the time, I didn't think it was as serious as it actually was. And then we'll see how that happens. Well, I'll see how that goes, sorry. So, this is the medicine that I first use, uh, API Melifix, which says it should. I think it says on the back. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but on the little picture, it says that uh, mouth rot is one of the things it can cure. So this was the first medicine I decided to use. And because I have the memory of a dead goldfish, I wasn't able to recu record every single day. I only got about four of the days, but in the end it didn't really matter and you'll see why in a minute. So, as you can see in those clips, the medicine that I originally used did absolutely nothing. It was completely worthless. But it didn't really matter too much because I had already decided that I wanted to try something stronger anyway. And that is ex basically exactly what I did. But I also made the smart decision, which I should have made earlier, to move the koi angelfish out of the main aquarium because... Originally, I thought after adding all the little fish from the downstairs tank that the aggression would die down, like because there'd be a lot of other fish in the tank. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So what I did is, did is I took the, the koi angelfish out and put it in the downstairs aquarium by itself. I'll say by itself. It had the bristle nose, but the bristle nose hardly ever comes out. And then I began properly treating it in that tank, and we're gonna see now how that went. So the second medicine I decided to use was one I got from my local fish store after I brought in some pictures of what the fish looked like and they recommended this. It's from the Abyss Aquatic in Stockport. I'm not sure if you can get this stuff online. I'll look into it and put some links in the description if you can know. Yeah, anyway, let's see now how this stuff is.
So yeah, that's about it. I don't know if he'll be nice enough to show his face for us, but there is still a little bit of white just on his lower lip. But that should hopefully clear up very, very soon, just making sure I've got pristine water quality and everything should be good. But yeah, he's back to his normal insane self and nothing really seems to be the matter with him now. He's eating fine and uh, eating whatever the hell that was, fine. But yeah, everything seems to be great. Uh, like I said before, if I can find where to buy that medicine online, I will I will do. If not, then if you live in the UK and you have the ability, ability to get to Stockport, uh, check out Abyss Aquatics, because that's where I got the medicine from, and that's the one that seems to have worked the most, because the other one just didn't really do anything, really, so I'm not even going to bother linking that one. But yeah, uh, that, yeah, that's about it for the video. Like I say... I know some of you will wonder why I've got guppies and angelfish in the same tank. <laughs> As you can see, it's not going too perfectly. But I will make a video on that in the future. Just, uh, so just bear with me on that. But okay, that's about it, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all later.